In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at auto transformers, and hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a very good understanding of how an auto transformer works. Now, auto transformers are also referred to as variax, variable alternating current transformers. That's really a company name, variac, but a variac is an auto transformer. If you take a look at this diagram right here, this shows it well. You have your single winding. There is no secondary winding. And you have your 120 volts, or it could be 220, whatever the winding is designed for, feeding into that winding. Once the power is fed into that winding, usually on a toroid, like you see here, all of this copper in this winding you see here on a variac, would normally be found on a toroid. The wire, the wire would be wrapped around the toroid. The whole toroid would be full of copper wire. And what they would do is the top edge of the toroid, all the varnish on the enamel wire would be sanded off nice and clean, leaving only bare copper on the top. Now another good way to look at how an auto transformer would be set up would be by looking at this rheostat right here. Make believe that these wide areas of resistive wire are actually copper windings filling up this entire perimeter here. And in the middle, you have the part that rotates. As this rotates with the brush, it brings you to a different spot on the winding to create a different tap point. So if you had a neutral connection here, and you have your 120 volt connection right here, when this is pushed all the way in that direction, you would have a tap wire soldered to here coming off. At this point here, in this position, you would have between neutral and here, 120 volt output. So if you rotated it halfway through the winding to that position, what you would end up with is approximately half of the winding or between the neutral and the wiper you'd have around 60 volts AC. Now they make variacs step up, step down, but the most common ones are used for stepping down. Now the only issue you have when using an auto transformer or a variac is that you do not have any isolation between your primary winding and a secondary winding. All of the power is being tapped off of the single winding you see here. Current output is very good on an auto transformer. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to be using one of my microwave oven transformers. As you can see, it only has the primary winding. The secondary has been removed. And to reduce the amount of current flowing into this transformer, so it stays a lot cooler while I'm demonstrating, I'm flowing through three 100 microfarad, 370 volt capacitors connected in series. So you have an effective capacitance of around 33 microfarads. So that's going to limit the current into that winding. But everything will still work perfectly for me to show you this demonstration. As you can see, the neutral is connected to the left side terminal here. And the winding from the neutral is on the outside. So this wire here is coming off the outside of the winding. And the red one here goes all the way into the middle and starts winding from the closest point to the core. And that's your hot lead coming from the capacitor. Let me turn it on just to show you we have 120. Here the transformer humming. All right, I already have the common connected to the neutral on the transformer, that's the green lead. Let's measure to the other terminal. And we have around 115 volts. Just to show you, there's 115 going into that winding. What I did is in certain areas of the winding, I took a utility knife blade and I scraped away the enamel on the wire at different locations in the winding. So we have our hot line heading in on the right, which feeds into the center 
of the core winds around and around and around until it gets to the outside edge where it connects to your neutral. So if you wanted to have, say, a 12 volt power supply coming off of just this one winding, you would take the neutral coming in, which is on the left side here, take your tap from that side, and then you would look on the coil for an area that would give you roughly 12 volts. Now the top part right here, I made a little nick, it might be hard to see, but I'm going to touch the probe and we're going to take a look at the voltage reading. Let me lower this to the 20 range. I'm going to touch it right. Alright, so as you could see at this point in the winding, if we had a wiper moving to this location between there and the neutral, that would give you around 1 volt out of the 120. As we move from the outside all the way towards the inside, the voltage is going to get higher and higher and higher until it matches the 115, 120 that's coming out of the AC receptacle. So this right here is only like one or two turns. And that explains why you're only getting around 1.05 volts. Now if I add these first 10 windings here, let's see what we get. And that's 10 volts. So if we had a wiper on a variac pointing at that location on the winding, you would have roughly 10 volts. Now there is another spot here that I scraped. I'm pointing at it. Let me touch it right to that spot. That's maybe three turns in, maybe 30 turns of wire. And that's 19.6. So we have 19.6 volts. We're going to go a little further now. We're going to tap about halfway through that primary winding and see what we get. There you go. 62.3 volts. So if you needed a 62.3 volt AC power supply, you would just rotate that to the position on the winding and then you would have your 62 volts. The good thing about these variacs or auto transformers is the current output is excellent on them. Now I'm going to check another point which is very far back in the winding. And let's see what we get. 104, 105 volts. So what I'm going to do is take this 12 volt, it's a 4 amp headlight off of my scooter. And I'm going to connect this 12 volt bulb to that point on the winding and you will see this light up nice and brightly. Let me disconnect my meter. Okay, there's the bulb. I have the neutral in green and the yellow is going to be where I'm going to be tapping from. Just going to take the wire right here. We angle this just a hair more this way. and touch it to the location on the winding. Keep in mind we have 120 volts going directly into this winding but we're going to be running this 12 volt bulb just fine. Of course we're only going to be using 10 because that's where I tapped the winding at but it will show you that there's plenty of current and as well as demonstrate the principle of how this works. So let me touch it right here. So right now we are tapping that 10 volt spot on the transformer to operate that incandescent lamp. So that's pretty much how they work. They're very simple. You just have the one winding and you tap that winding at different locations. Now you could even wind your own up if you wanted and put taps at different locations and take each one of those taps. So say you wanted a 12 volt setting, then a 24 volt, then a 36 you'd be able to switch between different settings using only maybe six taps along the winding. You could take some 18 to 20 gauge wire and wrap four or five hundred turns around a toroid like you see here and you can make your own variac fairly easily especially if you have one of these laying around that you can use the wiper from. 
So hopefully you now understand how an auto transformer or a variac works. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Thank you very much for watching.